Do you have elevated DHEA levels and wondering what the chances are that you have an adrenal tumor? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this short video, we're going to look at what the likelihood is of an adrenal tumor when you have elevated DHEAS levels. So if you like this kind of information on health, understanding what's going on in your body, nutrition, and just trying to get a general better understanding of what's going on inside your body, click on that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or a medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of health and treatment success. If you need medical attention, don't delay in seeking that treatment. All right, well, let's check out the relationship between elevated DHEAS levels and adrenal tumors. So a person asked about elevated DHEAS levels and adrenal tumor. What is the relationship there? And is it true that elevated DHEA levels can be from an adrenal tumor? So typically when there's elevated DHEA or DHEA sulfate levels, the first thing that comes to mind is not a tumor. However, when your levels remain elevated well above the reference range, two to three times the upper end of the reference range for your age and for your gender, Make sure you check both of those when you're looking at your reference ranges. It should be gender specific, age specific. When that's happening, it is worth considering, uh, especially when you've already ruled out some of these other things. The first reason people typically have elevated DHEA or DHEAS levels is from PCOS, adrenal hyperplasia, or some sort of functional issue with metabolism or hormone production. Far, far less common reason, in fact, it's like one in a million every year, the adrenal tumor is diagnosed. So it's very uncommon. More specifically, it's called adrenal corticocarcinoma. So if you don't have adrenal hyperplasia, you don't have PCOS, and your levels are extremely high, two to three times the normal range, other testing may be a good idea. This can include things like urinary metanephrine, AM cortisol, dexamethasone, ACTH challenge, luteinizing hormone, and several other things. If the labs do look suspicious, probably you're gonna get a CT scan to look to see if any adrenal tumor or suspicious mass is identified. Most of these tests and evaluations are gonna be done through the direction and guidance of a endocrinologist. That's a specific doctor that deals with hormones and pathology of the endocrine system. So hopefully that just sort of emphasizes how rare an adrenal tumor is and how unlikely elevated DHEA sulfate or regular DHEA is going to be from an adrenal tumor. All right, so hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the relationship between elevated DHEAS levels and adrenal tumors. If you do have any additional questions, please drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that topic. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.